and Nick Saban. This is a dynasty, what he has created in Tuscaloosa and the Alabama program that makes them the bar in college football. What's happening, everybody? Once again, it's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back to talk about the SEC Media Day. Uh, it was Alabama's day today, and I'm here to talk about what Bryce Young had to say at SEC Media Day. Bryce, too nice. He's going to get it done this year. I can guarantee you that. But anyway, he went on to talk about his mindset coming into this year. He talked about uh, winning the Heisman Trophy, uh, the offensive line. Uh, he talked about Will Anderson. I mean, he talked about a lot of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to just tell you about what I liked about what he said. But anyway, uh he started off about talking about last year about how they didn't get it done. He said, being at Alabama, all you have uh, to focus on is the team and winning. We didn't get it done last year. That's really the approach I'm taking basically in 2022. I definitely have a lot of motivation and a lot of fuel to do that. So, like I said, he said they didn't get it done last year. He's motivated. He got a lot of fuel to get it done this year. We all know what he did last year. Heisman Trophy winner. 47 touchdowns through the air, three on the ground, over 4,800 yards. We all know what he did last year. So, and this year, I think he can do more. He's got more weapons this year. So, it's all out there for him, man. It's all out there for him. And the guy is motivated. That's what it's all about, man. He got the right mindset. Uh, when he, they asked him about winning the Heisman, he said winning the Heisman was off, was obviously a huge honor. It means a lot. But I also understand that that doesn't entitle me to anything. Wow. You you hear this guy, man? He says he know that the winning the Heisman don't entitle him to anything. Great mindset. Great mindset. But anyway... Uh, he said, really, it's an award that celebrates one season that I had in the past, which is, again, an honor, but it doesn't mean anything moving forward. Last year ain't got nothing to do with this year. I've been telling some of these fan bases that, which is true. Last year ain't got nothing to do with this year. And me and Bryce is on the same damn page. Bryce Young is going to outdo what he did last year. The Heisman Trophy is in the past. He's not thinking about it. He got it, set it up on the shelf, and left it. It's in the past. We got more work to do. That's what he's thinking. Anyway, and then uh, he goes on. So because of that, I don't feel like I'm where I need to be. I don't feel like I'm a, a finished product by any means. There's a lot of stuff I can uh, keep getting better at. For me, it's all about winning a championship and finish. Finishing what we failed to finish last year. Exactly. He's already telling you he can get better. He can. There's a lot of things that he can work on to get better. And it's all about winning a national championship. They made it that last year, but failed to win it. And that's what it's all about coming in 2022 for this whole Crimson Tide team. And I'm loving everything they damn saying. But anyway, let's continue on. Uh, they, he asked about the transfers. Gibbs, Burton, Harold. But anyway, he said uh, uh, he's particularly excited about the addition of Gibbs, who, uh, uh, who is super explosive, super dynamic, and he's really smart. He understands the offense really well, even in the short time that he's been here. Great. We got another weapon at running back. We know we lost B. Rob to the NFL, who went for over ran for over 1,300 yards last year, who went for over 1,600 uh, all-purpose yards last year. So we got transfer uh, Jameer Gills from Georgia Tech, uh, who earned he got he earned three spots 
on the 2021 All-ACC team at Georgia Tech. So we got the addition of him, which I think he'll be the starter. He's going to be a great addition to go along with uh, Jason McClellan, Roy Dale Williams, and uh, 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 Trey Sanders. So we got a stellar running back room. It is what it is, man. We, we loaded all over the field. Then he goes on to, uh, to uh, talk about Jermaine Burton, transfer from Georgia. And he says it's been a lot of time that we develop a lot of chemistry and uh, work going on. It's only going to improve, so I'm really excited. So he's excited about having both of these transfers. And uh, 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 damn, Jermaine Burton. He, had, he only had 26 catches last year with Georgia for 497 yards. I'm going on a limb, and I'm saying he will have, he will be a 1,000-yard receiver this season and a first-round draft pick with Bryce Young throwing the ball. He'll probably, he'll probably have 1,200 yards or more. Okay, he only scored eight touchdowns last year at, at, at uh, Georgia. I think he'll have at least 12 this year. So, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. Over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns, first-round draft pick. That's where I'm going with Jameer Gibbs because he got Bryce Young getting in the damn ball. And we know Bryce Young is a dynamic quarterback. Okay? Also, they asked Bryce Young uh, about the offensive line. We know our offensive line was not too good yesterday. They couldn't protect Bryce Young for nothing. Bryce Young, after, you know, the whole 15 games, Bryce Young was sacked, I believe, like 41 times. 40, being sacked 41 times is unheard of at Alabama. That old line can't protect them for nothing. They protected them in the SEC championship game, but that's about it. Auburn sacked them seven times. But anyway, uh, but he still did what he did. Still got that high in the trophy. Still threw for over 4,800 yards, 47 touchdowns. But anyway, what he said about the offensive line coming into 2022 is, uh, is uh, we, have, <clears throat> we have a really good change in atmosphere and direction. Coach Wolford, who we got from uh, Kentucky, uh, you know, Kentucky, they, they, they always have a pretty good uh, offensive line. But anyway, he said uh, Coach Wolford is really – yeah, uh, it, Coach Wolford coming in really helped us. He shored up some things for Texans uh, from schematic from a schematic standpoint. Like he's done really, really. He's really. Let me start this over. Okay, he said about the offensive line. We really have we have a really good change in the atmosphere. Coach Wolford coming in really has helped us. He shored up some things protection from a schematic standpoint. Like he's done. A really good job with those guys up front. So, look like the offensive line going to be all right. Look like, I think, I shit, they ain't even had to tell me this because I think we're going to be all right anyway because I don't think Nick Saban uh, will allow the travesty up front like he did last year, not two years in a row. Nick Saban will get it fixed. But anyway, uh, but yeah. He, he's got well, – we got great things to look forward to as Alabama fans. All right. And then talking, he talked about Will Anderson. And, and, you know, he says about Will Anderson, everybody sees the uh, output he has on Saturday and how, how amazing he is on the field. But people don't always get to see how hard of a worker he is, how much he means for us for as a leadership standpoint, how much he can bring along – uh, the younger guys and help and what a vocal leader he is for us. So he also said uh, Anderson deserves to be a Heisman Trophy finalist. He deserved to be a Heisman Trophy finalist in 2021 and hopes he earned that recognition this season. He did earn. He should have been a Heisman Trophy finalist last season, but he got snubbed. They chose that guy from Michigan. Oh, well. Can't take it back. But uh, guess what? He will be one this year, barring some unsignificant event. Knock on wood. But anyway, uh, 
Bryson, he even he knows what what Will Anderson and all is about. All in what Will Anderson and all is about, and all the work that he put in. So hey, it is what it is. It's, it's good to see these guys praising each other, man. And then he also uh, talked about Jordan Battle saying, "I feel like the defensive players." Oh, Jordan Battle. This is what Jordan Battle said about uh, uh, Will Anderson. Also, I feel like defensive player definitely should be able to win the Heisman and change the perspective. I feel like Will Anderson would be a great addition to the uh, Heisman Trophy watch list, which he would. That's another defensive guy talking about uh, Will Anderson. So another guy praising Will Anderson. So that's good to see. Uh, they asked Young, uh, what else? Uh, they asked him about Jimbo Fisher and, and Coach Saban. He didn't have much to say about it. He just said uh, both coaches are great coaches. And great competitors, and uh, when you competing at a high level, stuff happens, which it, which it does, which it does. Look at when when my when my Washington football team, Washington Redskins, Washington Commanders, whatever you want to call them, they still the Redskins. I mean, look at what happened when 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 uh, when uh, uh, Ryan Anderson and um, old boy got in it, but they both came from Alabama on the sideline, about to throw blows, man, just competing against each other. On the win. So it is the run and pain. That's what I'm talking about. Just him and Ryan Anderson, man. Just just competitiveness, man. That's all. Uh also uh uh Jordan Battle, he talked about Tyler Harrell, man. He just said uh Tyler Harrell is very fast. Everybody saying Tyler Harrell is fast, and it's true. He said he is very fast. He's a great route runner and he can take the top off the defense. We love that because we need guys on offense to give our secondary competition in practice. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Them boys competing hard, man. But like I said, they ain't got nothing but praise for one another, man. And, hey, it's a good thing, man. But uh, Bryce Young, he, he going he gonna to be a thrill to watch this season, man. I mean, I can't wait, man. It's going to be lovely. But anyway, let me get off of here, man. I got to be on the show tonight. So, But anyway, uh, y'all take it easy. And uh, these Bama boys, they about to commence to whooping ass in a 40-something days. Roll damn time.